Hey everybody, Cyberboy here, and today's video is going to be Vampire's Dawn 3, The Crimson Realm. So, I've never heard of this one until I saw it in the Steam list. Uh, saw that it was a free demo, so I decided to try it. So, let's see how it is. Okay. When a human dies, heaven gives eternal peace to his soul. When a vampire dies, his blood spirit suffers eternal pain. In the Crimson Realm, What have we done? We had no other choice. Barnar is dead. It was inevitable. We had to cut their heads off. Barnar, my beloved Barnar. Barnar, Jane, and Ryron, they were all possessed by those shadow spirits. Put your stuff together. We can't change it anymore. Let's focus on our next steps. Look at the stone tablet. What do I care about the stone tablet? I have to take care of Bonar. Look, engraved in the stone tablet is the most powerful spell that was ever created. This means I can finally shape the world according to my wishes. No! No? The stone tablet makes us the most powerful beings that ever existed. You have no idea what you're talking about. The stone tablet could just as easily wipe out all of the life on this world. The Elras have hidden it deep here deep underground. If they wanted to wipe out the world, they would have done it long ago. No, I think this spell makes us infinitely powerful. We were able to stop them, stop them in time before using the spell. Besides, it doesn't matter what the spell does. I will now free Bonar from the Crimson Realm. Let his blood spirit suffer a little. If we use the stone tablet now, we would be so powerful that you can revive him with the staff. How do you know? The Elris have created the stone tablet. They are driven only by the desire to destroy everything. Do not let your grief blind you. This is our opportunity to bring peace to the world. Peace? By destroying everyone who does not follow your will? Nonsense, not everyone. We have no idea what the spell does. We need the spell book of the Elras and we must study it for answers. I can only use it to revive Valnar before we cast the spell. Are you serious? The spell book, the incredible power of the Elras is right here in our, at our feet on the stone tablet. Yes, I mean it, Asgar. With this spell, you would have the power to do everything you want. Where the spell is the end of this world, I will use the spell now. You wouldn't dare. I don't want you a second time. Fair enough. Get the book and revive Valnar. Then we use the spell together. And what are you doing in the meantime? I have the stone tablet transported to my castle. I will keep it safe there until you return. No you won't, Oscar. I won't let you leave you alone with the stone tablet. Oh well, then there sadly will be no resurrection for Valnar. Now what is your decision? I will split up the stone tablet. You keep one half, I keep the other. And then you will help me revive Boundar with the Book of the Auras. Then we can use the stone tablet together. Wake up! Wake up, you wretched maggots! I 
I'm sick of your miserable existence. Uh, uh, Scar, how dare you? I hate you and this, you and this most inferior of all vampires. Where, where am I? Welcome to hell. Uh, it's... Asgar? I can't believe what you've done. There is nothing to justify your actions. You are insane. Insane. Insane? I don't think... I think you don't realize what situation you're in. It was your actions that forced us to act like that. My actions. You destroyed everything I've built. Destroyed everything I've ever loved. Stop talking about love. All you have brought into this world is death. How dare you speak to me like that? You treacherous existence. Then ends here now and now. Let's do the laughing. <laughs> you dare to laugh at me? Your obnoxious character comes back over and over again, you wretch. How could I be so mistaken about you? I created you as my apprentice. Side by side, we could have achieved anything. Apprentice, slave is far more precise, Asgar. You bloody ungrateful worm. You are to blame. Blame? Blame me for what? What? That I wanted a life of endless possibilities? Let us go now, you lunatic. After everything you have been through together, Vincent Reynard, Jenai, King Gerald, Gerald, I mean, all worthless worms, but you, Valnar, have taken the most valuable thing that has ever meant something to me. Uh, your mind? <laughs> you use this maggot. You have denied my orders for too long. Stop playing games. A game you call this? Then this is the last game of your undead, undead life, worm. Uh. See what happens. She never loved you. You have divided us, but the vengeance will finally be mine. After all the decades of war. You started this war. I can hardly believe how much every fiber of my undead body hates you. Die an agonizing death, traitor. You dirty maggot. Bonar. I love you, Elaine. Touching. Now go to hell. No! <laughs> Burned in the lava? What are you telling us? That's how it happened. Will he kill us like that, Grandpa? This is not the end, I promise you, Aaron. How are you? How are we ever supposed to get out of here? They will find us. We just have to hold on. I, I can no longer. Oh, my dear Aaron, please don't give up. He killed Mom and Dad. The soldiers will find us soon, and then everything will be fine. Despite my words, you still don't understand who is holding us prisoner here. Stop telling my grandson such cruel things. He's a monster, the worst vampire that ever existed and ever will exist. The warriors of the Holy Crusade will find us and defeat him. The Holy Crusade is as good as destroyed. This, not, this must not be our end. I'm afraid it is, though. There is no escape. His power is too great. We can do nothing more than wait here and for our end. Please don't say that in front of my grandson. We'll make it. We'll just have to. We just have to hold on. Soon we, you will understand that this, that to starve is still the most gracious fate that can await you. He only knows anger and the absolute will to control everything. Who or what stands in his way will be destroyed or enslaved, being, and being his slave is infinitely worse than dying. Grandpa, I'm scared. There has to be someone who can stop him. The last hope is lost. The only ones who could have stopped him ended like I just told you. 
Grandpa, is that true? Are we going to die here? The last hope left mankind. Two vampires burned in a dungeon. I don't want to believe that. It doesn't matter anymore, but I will tell you, also tell you how it could come to this, and why this means the end of us all. Many decades ago, three vampires wandered together through the world in search of the fragments of a magical relic of the ancient Elras magicians. They were Elaine Freyn Freynia, Asgar Saran, and Valnar Darnas. They had the same goal, with the relic they could have saved the world according to their wishes. But Varnar died before they could use the relic. Exactly what the power of the relic was, only the Eros magicians knew. Asgar hoped to rule the world with the power of the relic. Elaine wanted to bring the world back to him into balance, but without Varnar there, there could be no peace for her. Elaine and Varnar were a couple. To revive Varnar, Elaine needed the spellbook of the Eros magicians. So Elaine went looking for that spellbook. Elaine didn't trust Asgar, therefore they divided the fragments of the relic and searched separately for the book. A vampire named Jaina Eris had found and hid the book of Auras. In this vampire, Asgar searched for the spellbook too. Yes, Asgar and Elaine were equal. Both knew that they couldn't easily destroy each other. Therefore, Asgard accepted Elaine's request to revive Varnar first before they would, they would use the relic. But the years passed without the two of them finding the book. Asgard became more and more impatient and didn't want to wait any longer to use the relic. A dispute broke out which ended in a bitter war. Both of them created more and more vampires for bloody battles for getting the fragments of the relic. Varnar's death was the trigger for this war, and with that the reason why there are so many vampires today. Elaine knew that too many vampires would lead to humankind dying out, because without the blood of humans, vampires also die. However, due to her desperation and the necessary fight against Asgard, she did not care in the end. But to understand that, let me start my story a few months earlier, then everything will be made clear to, to you step by step. After all these decades of searching and fighting a war against Asgar, Elaine finally got closer to the spellbook of the Auras. The book must be hidden somewhere. Here somewhere, my vampire scouts reported that animals enchanted by shadow magic live in this forest. That indicates a strong dark source of magic, it just has to be the book. If it's nor here, Asgar shortly will have to overrun my vampire warriors by his army. I must find the book before him. These decades of searching must finally come to an end. El Varnar, I need you in this dark hour more than ever before. <sighs> Almost 14 minutes in, and I'm just now starting to play, so that's a little bit of the, what's it called, Let's see what this thing is. I don't see any birds or fish. Small animals mostly avoid places with dark magic. That's a good sign. Wait, what's this? A shadow creature in this forest? I should be able to destroy that easily. Okay, attack. Something strange is happening here. Okay. A 
see what she could do. Okay, see. Okay, see what that does. I guess she may have gotten more powerful or something. Um, I think I'm gonna end it here though, cause it's I need to get this video uploaded. So I hope you enjoyed. I probably should have not read all that stuff out loud and just went by it maybe five seconds for each thing to make it a lot less. Um. A lot less text heavy or whatever, so I'll probably do that next time. So in the meantime, see you later. Bye.